Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of all of my Overlook Bay houses. Now, I do have a lot that I have to go through. So if you guys would like to see all my house tours, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so this is the first house right here that I have to show you guys. This is the house that I already have down, but you guys have already seen this. If you guys haven't, then I will just give you guys like a little mini tour. This is the excellent Easter home. This is the home that's shaped like an Easter egg. So this is the upstairs balcony of my house. This is just a bedroom and then the living room is down here. And I kind of just did like a flower wall with vines going all the way to the top. I don't know. I just thought that was really cute. And I actually had a sitting area over here before, but I ended up changing into like a pet station because I did another video where I was making a bunch of the Easter pets rainbow shiny. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough um, pet stations for me and my friends. So right here is just a little bunny and then in here is just the kitchen and the dining room nothing too special and um, I tried to make the kitchen kind of simple so this is the first house right here let me go outside so that I can show you guys exactly what house this one is this one is the excellent cottage that is what it's called it's the cottage okay so our last home was actually the spring house and on the outside of this one it is yellow um, this is just the suburban house and um, this is kind of just what it looks like this is the house that i was using before the easter home came out so this is i did a lot of like flower walls this is the dining room pretty simple this is the kitchen and this is kind of just like the i guess you could say like a living room and then pet station kind of kind of the bathroom i don't actually have a separate bathroom in this house just because i wanted to keep it kind of like botanical so we just have like flower ponds upstairs and downstairs and then this is the bedroom so let's go ahead and go on to the next house which is the haunted house all right guys so for those who have not played overlook bay during halloween this is the haunted house right here and guys i miss halloween so much this was probably like my favorite update in overlook bay i have to say that there's like a little kitty peeking through but mine is just purple on the outside with a purple glow and this house is pretty unique so this is the inside of my halloween house i love the foyer this is the uh sitting room or like the front room right here this actually used to be a mirror but now that this is the picture that's why it kind of shows up like that and i had like a bunch of like my friends at the time their names are on like rest in peace stones so that's what that is we have a little piss station this is the dining room guys i'm so excited to see halloween again oh my gosh look at the little ghosts in the shower and stuff this is the bathroom um my building skills weren't that good until they are now um i did a lot of improving but this is the kitchen right here super cute i love all the halloween decorations and stuff let's go ahead and go into my dungeon where i like to lock people up so this is my dungeon right here it's pretty random we have like our own little house down here <laughs> as well oh my gosh guys and there's like spiders everywhere i don't like spiders but for some reason i found it cute to have spiders all over this house so let's go ahead and go upstairs this is also another sitting area right here with candy it's super cute and then in here is just my bedroom i have a lot of fog machines and stuff like that and then this is my separate bathroom so it's pretty interesting i love this house so much in fact i kind of want to use this house again um, this is definitely bringing me back to like memories of when Overlook Bay had their Halloween event So this is definitely one of my favorite homes Okay, so let's go into the next house, which is the teeny tiny starter home I'm actually not really sure which one this one is because I have so many of like tiny homes all right guys all right so this was actually a build that i was working on and i kind of just stopped doing it so it's pretty much just this room and that's it <laughs> all right so let me go ahead and go outside and show you guys what the house looks like on the outside first this one has like the northern lights and it's so beautiful this is just a gingerbread house mine is just pink because i like the color pink so let's go ahead and go inside this one i did a build challenge on and i ended up completing the rest of my house so this part was the build challenge over here if you guys remember from Christmas where I did a build challenge with gaming with Aries cuppy 97 and it's cutesy so that was a really fun time so the foyer is just this pastel colors in every room I actually did a different theme so this room right here is the red and green room this is the dining room and then in here is the bathroom this one's kind of like icy icicles so pretty simple 
And then if we go all the way over here, this is just another like sitting area and then like we have a piano and stuff. And I apologize if I'm going through this kind of fast. Um, I do have a lot of houses, so I want to make sure that I fit all of them within 12 minutes. So this is the kitchen. Our kitchen is more like icicles. And I just noticed that my little lighting fixture is crooked. So we do have Christmas trees in every room just because it was Christmas. And then right here is just another room, a little tiny room with like some toys and stuff. This one's kind of like a log cabin room. All right, so let's go all the way upstairs. We have a Christmas tree right here in the middle just because it looks super cute, a sitting area. This is a kid's bedroom, and this one I kind of just went with traditional and stuff. Oh my gosh, guys, this is bringing me back to Christmas memories and stuff. I miss Christmas already. This is just a desk over here, and then this is the uh, master bedroom, and then this one I kind of just did like icy. The master bathroom is also icy themed too, so this is the gingerbread manor that I have from Christmas. All right, so this is my test house where I do a lot of build hack testing so I'm not gonna show you guys this just in case I have anything that I still have not yet showed you guys all right so this I actually did a live stream on this build this is a tiny home as you guys can see and right here is just the kitchen we have a little desk and bed area over here it's kind of like a bunk station this right here is kind of like our little bar area or like dining table i guess you can say and then right here is the living room pretty small i really like these couches because they're shaped like hearts and stuff so pretty simple this is the bathroom and of course we had to go with a heart-shaped bathtub and the rest of my house is just like this heart wallpaper and heart flooring. Um, this one's very small, but I love tiny homes. So this was pretty much this home right here. All right, guys. So if we go to my penthouse apartment, this is the one that a lot of people like. As you can say, this is my mansion. Um, over here, we just have like a lollipop wall and then a giant donut sitting area, pet station. Um, a lot of you guys probably found me through the video tour where I did this, but this is just a indoor pet playground. We also have my living room right here with my ceiling. Um, this is the kitchen right here. It is like candy theme and it's super cute and girly. I love it. We have like an island counter and stuff. This is the dining room as well. It has like a giant donut right there. Um, my bedroom, I have not decorated just yet. This is how it was when I first moved into this house. And then this is the bathroom right here. So I do plan on doing a video where I decorate this room and like redecorate it. So this is my desk area. And then this is my fan wall where I like to post a lot of fan screenshots and stuff like that. I still have yet to fill in so many pictures that go up this entire wall and I want to add that into other houses too. So if we go sit in here, this is kind of a glitch room right here. This is the movie room. We have a pet station and then we also have like a popcorn maker and like a food station snack bar kind of thing right there. So this is kind of like my little glitch build. I did a lot of glitch building in this house. This is kind of just like my video studio thing where I like to film and record intros. I haven't done it in a while, so I kind of miss it. If we go across from there, this is my little bakery. I built a bakery in my house. I don't know why. Um, I guess because my donut theme, I it's bakery theme, I guess. So that's why I did that. All right, so if we go into this room right here, this is actually my boyfriend's room. This is another glitch room. Um, still needs some fixing. And this is his room. He likes the color green. And so I made this room really green. His little desk area is over here and he actually has like dual monitors too in real life. And then as well as his chair and stuff. He's also a major gamer. So I wanted to make sure that I included that within his room. So this is that room right here. So let's go ahead and go outside. And this is kind of like a random pet station. I thought it was really cute to add that there. And then the rest of my house is pretty much just nothing. Um, I'm meaning to do like some builds within these rooms. This is the bathroom. Um, this was before my building got better, so it's not the best. This right here is my daughter's room. Okay, so a lot of people ask this, but I don't actually have an in real life daughter. This is just my roleplay daughter's room. But since I won't be doing role plays in Overlook Bay, or maybe I will later on, this room is kind of just sitting here. It's like a little bunk bed. And it's like a cute little girl's room. All right, so that is pretty much it for this house. I have my name written over there. Go ahead and go to the main tiny home. So this is my very first tiny home that I made. I was kind of just like sick of big houses. So I kind of just made this house. And a lot of you guys actually like this house. This is my starter like tiny home. And some of you guys asked for like a building video on this. It's pretty simple. So this is just the living room. We also have the kitchen over here. Very small. We have my bedroom and this little corner my little office area right here a pet station and then also my bathroom it's pretty simple go ahead and go to the lifey star party home now this home was actually like 
a party home this wasn't actually like an actual home so if we go into the house we actually have to sit right here and glitch out like that and then we have to go all the way up here and then this was lifey's star party when he became a star in the overlook based star program and i kind of wanted to celebrate it because this was a very special moment for him so this is pretty cool we have the dance floor a stage i made his little name thing on like kind of floating like that dj station we have blueberries everywhere and then also this is kind of like the selfie station over here as well to take like selfies and screenies and all right so moving on to our second to last home this is the kawaii tiny home and a lot of you guys actually like this home as well this is my purple house um there's a lot of purples in here as you guys can see we have our uh living room right here our kitchen i really like how i did this where it's kind of like slanted i guess or like diagonal we also have our little pet station over here i wanted to maximize space so i kind of did this little build and then we have a mirror our bed and then also our um, desk area and then our bathroom our bathroom is pretty simple so let's go ahead and go on to our cupid's castle this is what the castle looks like on the outside all right so this is what the foyer looks like in the house i know that i have two valentine's day houses but i did the tiny home before the valentine's update came out so um this is after when the update came out so now we have like a cupid's castle this is the garden area we also have a sitting area in here and then this actually just leads up to like this hallway right here in the front and then if we go all the way over here this actually goes all the way down to another living room which is pretty cool um this house is very pink as you guys can see we have a pet station over here and then we also have a fountain over here with a flower wall and then if we go in here this is my kitchen it's very small but i like it. it's cozy we have a blue bathroom right here it's super super cute all right so let's go ahead and go upstairs so i can show you guys the extra rooms we have a lot of sitting areas this is the piano room and if we go all the way up here to these rooms right here these are actually my guest bedrooms so this is the girls guest bedroom and then it shares a bathroom with the boys guest bedroom um i like to have a lot of guest beds in case any of my friends would like to sleep over or stay the night or need a place to stay so this is a boys guest bedroom with blue and then if we go in here i kind of separated this room in half and made this into like a little office area all right so let's go ahead and run to the last room in our cubits castle or the last room for this video um if we go in here this is my bedroom and i kind of wanted my bedroom to be all the way at the top because that's usually how princess rooms work right <laughs> all right so we have a vanity desk over here my bed is over here with a bunch of like the curtains and stuff you guys can find all these builds in my build videos and then this is also like a little pond area with a flower wall and then we also have a sitting area all right guys so that is going to be the end of this video where i show you guys all of my houses in overlook bay of course there is going to be more in the future because i love building and stuff but anyways guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can become a donut i'm eating a donut as you guys can see and also make sure to go purchase your donut squad merch that i'm wearing right now i will have links in the description box because for some reason it is not showing in my group store so i have to leave the links down below in all of my description box but um they will be there with all the separate colors and stuff like that but anyways guys i will see you guys next time bye